We're doing some sexy Ben Kenobi. Oh shit, dude! That should have been. How you like your eggs in the morning? Uh, (laughs) You like them over easy. Uh, (laughs) I'm gonna yolk. Yeah, I'm gonna yolk all (laughs) over your scramble. Uh, Speaking of Kenobi. Some schnerd cast coming back with some schnerd bites. Little bite sized schnerds. <laughs> Thank you, Colt Clannon, for being here. Much appreciated. Yep. I'm not Colt Clannon. I'm Colt Cannon, but. Colt Clannon. Colt <laughs> Cannon. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm running on fumes over here. So, yeah, dude. I don't uh, blame so, uh, you. Bear, bear with me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, not enough K's in that name, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Ben Kenobi trailer, though. Bro, this is probably the first thing that has ever come out that i've actually wanted to see that's new star wars disney plus besides when the first one came out and then after yeah. the first one i just gave up instantly yeah and you know, you're not really as interested in like the the book of mandalorian Oba Fett or the mandalorian that's just not your bag which I, no. I i mean i say they're great but i understand your perspective on that for sure yeah and then the thing that threw me off with the mandalorian was the baby yoda and oh Rogu so, and all that stuff let's do a little spoiler here Baby Gro- Grogu is Baby Yoda. It's a clone of Yoda. Just so everybody knows, it's Yoda's clone. And during, <laughs> and during the Revenge of the Sith, they were already planning. They had cloned Yoda because he was the most powerful Jedi ever to live. And they were like, when he dies, because he this old fuck is going to die soon. Like, he's 300 plus years old. He We need him back. And think- they so they cloned him. That's what I, so- I was... Yeah, I was reading about it because they explain it more in the book of Boba Fett, by the way. Is uh so this is post uh like after the Death Star has been exploded and uh, uh you're talking about Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian? Yeah. They're both after the first trilogy. Oh, I actually have an answer to that. I'm sorry. It is after the first trilogy from the seventies and eighties, right? Yeah. And it's before the new trilogy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. That's what we're saying. It's right before the new trilogy. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke, because oh, so Luke, Luke Skywalker is young in The Mandalorian and in Book of Boba Fett. He's so it is, is it, it is in between there. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. No, you're I'm good. Right. No. <laughs> you, just, you just clarified what we were just saying. So Yeah, I was saying I didn't know, and then I thought about it. I was like, wait, Luke Skywalker is young. So in this is, this is going to be in between the first trilogy, the second trilogy and the first trilogy. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. How confusing. Yeah, you're totally right. right. The 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 Obi-Wan series is between the second trilogy and the first one. You're totally right. All right. So before Hell we confusing. go before no, before we get all fucking tongue tied on this. They started with the old music and shit when they first discovered Skywalker. The fight is done. The fight is done. The Jedi have won. Lost. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> She's checking on Luke Skywalker. That's Luke right checking there. on his fucking <laughs> Oculus 2 and shit. Yep. Yeah, that's Luke Skywalker. Oh, I love this one, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the Revenge of the Sith sound. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I love this design so much better than any other Star Wars design. Yeah, obviously. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. Because they have a more retro. The Jedi code is yeah. An itch. Look, it's like evolving into the. Uh, the first, so we've this first series, the seventy series. So we have seen two Siths. It looks like this one that's is so the girl. Sick too. Yeah, so that's a Sith, and that girl must be a Sith. Boom. Her. That must be a Sith, because only Sith Ooh, use red lightsabers. Bro. Okay. Oh, the Darth Vader breathing. I didn't see this. I didn't hear this one earlier. That was dark. My Ray birthday, Ray, bro! Oh, my shit. birthday, dude! You get the first episode on your birthday. Happy oh, birthday. Bro, that was my bro. doing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, had to it, call Disney myself and I was like, yo, yeah, come on. Throw come my on, homie a bone. Hook, hook it up, brother. <laughs> yo, I, owe him a, I owe him a little I, favor. Come on. I, I love the setting of this. 
and the theme, the music, Ooh. everything about this is so awesome. And you know what I really love is they didn't give too much away. Yeah. They gave one minute and 25 seconds away of, and there's probably like two seconds or five seconds from every episode in this. And it's just not enough to tell what the fuck is going on. But we heard it, the Darth just, Vader breathing. The only breathing. thing is, uh, it seems like they're hunting Kenobi. That, that's what I think is happening. Because remember, at, by, in the beginning of the first trilogy, Kenobi is completely in, Ben Kenobi is completely in hiding. Yeah. He's like, so, I'm fucking really good at this. <laughs> yeah, dude. You will come. Uh, no, I just, uh, oh, God, God. <laughs> I just think, uh, I just think it's awesome. They brought him back ian mcgregor because like he was such a he's and like the best part of the you new you were saying if it's true or not or whatever uh that uh christian haydenson right his name i think his name is christian haydenson i think he's right. the one who played <clears throat> anakin skywalker and darth vader in the second trilogy yeah which and which was, he was one of the best star wars fights is him and uh fucking kenobi yep yep and number three revenge of the sith and on top of it that's the one where Hayden Christensen. Oh, Hayden Christensen, right? Yeah. I think so. Or is that I think, the... we, I think we said Christian Haydenson. It's Hayden Christensen, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. Um I think there's another like a fuck okay, keep on going. I, I always I always fuck up his name because there's the female actress named Hayden Panatera. And I always fuck those two their totally names off up. subject, but I used to confuse him and um James Franco. <laughs> around by the pineapple express in that time because yeah, they both look they so look, similar to me they look alike yeah but, that's before uh, i paid attention to actors and their faces so the rumor is and this is more or less a rumor for sure hayden christensen is coming back um for like that's so Fit. sick bro that makes me but hyped bro the Not rumor is yeah i'm hyped on that and the rumor is that in this series that there's going to be a fight between obi-wan and darth vader that never made it to film to give people a timeline reference, according to the rumor of it, mill, it's supposed to be the fight that happens before Darth Vader and Obi Wan fight in the first trilogy, and Obi Wan goes into Jedi ghost mode and he becomes a Jedi ghost. And uh, there was a fight in the books, I think, that happened right before that fight, where Obi Wan was either able to get out alive or he beat Darth Vader, and Darth Vader got out alive. Using a, a force ghost. I'm sorry, a force I ghost. Would, I would hope to see uh, Anakin or Obi Wan get fucking kind of like fucked up because yeah. he just said he had he wound up fucking. <laughs> I have the high ground, and he fucking chopped that dude all yeah, his limbs just, off. Yeah, he fucked Darth Vader up. He made Darth Vader like. But I'll say this too. And what's um, hilarious though, if you if you the little thing that I remember I noticed, all all he had, if I remember correctly, was either his left or right arm and in the, in the right leg no he had no legs oh yeah he got both legs severed right. and he only had one arm left yeah and in when he fights luke when luke skywalker fights Darth vader he cuts off the arm that that was uh, the only real arm i don't know if yeah. it, you know what i mean but like he cut off That's ironically crazy. i don't know if they did that on purpose or what but well, I don't know if they meant to do that, like in the first for the second but trilogy. Keep, yeah, keep in mind though, before he got his arm cut off in that last fight between him and Obi Wan, um, General Grievous cut off Anakin Skywalker's arm. Yeah, but that's not. I'm pretty positive that's okay. in Clone Wars. Yeah, I, I had to go back and look because it's been forever since I've watched them. But I'm pretty positive uh, he had his real arm. We lost. So that's most Eisley, right? I'm or guessing, is that, or is that Tatooine? I think it it's most Eisley. I think it's most Eisley. Okay. Yeah. There's fucking baby Luke, Luke playing on this fucking VR shit. So, <laughs> so this is awesome because this means that in the first movie, when it starts out, that from this age up until Luke was like 19 or 20, Obi Wan has been watching him the whole time like a perv, which is awesome. Like the <laughs> like a Family Guy, hella predicted it, bro. When they did the Star Wars episode, because yeah. they had the pervert, yeah, uh, the, and, the and, his, and his and his fucking lightsabers all limp. <laughs> and then <laughs> Chris walks up and he gets like, what? <laughs> and Chris is Luke Skywalker, dude. Family Guy totally fucking called it. Hell of that, dude. Uh, but um, but uh, this might be a little Easter egg. I just noticed he's. It looks like he's doing like a little pod racing. Game. Oh yeah, like he's. Oh, oh or like yeah, because he because in 
the original, he was a hell of a tie, a, a, a tie fighter. Remember, he had his own tie fighter. That's true, yeah. So it could be a, a reference to him before he wanted to be a, before he was this, old enough, he was already wanting to be a pilot. It's just something that's in the uh, Skywalker blood or the Anakin blood or whatever. Where they're just amazing pilots. Stay hidden. He's God, like, this, the fuck? this is making me want to play Battlefront 2 so bad. That was so dope, though. The... Yeah, dude. That's it's classic, something about bro. it's something about this music, like in Halo. And these design for their uh, vehicles and like the the structures, I just love it because it's more of like a, even though it's supposed to be uh like the oldest, technically the oldest fucking time point in yeah. time, one of the oldest times in the in the whole Star Wars series. Yeah. Um. Shit, Everything just looks, looks hella more, more futuristic and yeah, slick. More and I badass. like it. Yeah, it's just like their shit just looks like that looks terrifying. Like you know, you know what I think it is. If you now, if you if you went to a different planet and then you just saw that, that would be terrifying. Dude, <laughs> you and, know what I mean? You'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" Agreed, agreed. And I'll say this uh, before we start, uh, before we press play here. If you think about what happened in between Revenge of the Sith and the first trilogy, right? It's almost like that's super accurate what you just said because it's almost like the Jedi falling made it to where everybody else after that point in Revenge of the Sith suffered because technology was not as readily available as it was when the Jedi Council was around. So right. what you just said, I'm like, that's crazy. The Sith took over and the galaxy suffered from it. They didn't have as cool as technology. They didn't have lightsabers or Jedi or Sith as readily available as they did during the era of uh, Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, and uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, well, I agree. The technology looks so much doper during this Star Wars time frame. Dude, I just love the design for this. Like the yeah, this this time uh, this time frame, it's so good. Hell yeah! Patience. I don't know who that is. He looks dope though. He looks like. Patience. He looks like fucking Darth Vader's fucking stupid little brother. <laughs> <laughs> stupid little brother. <laughs> He's the twin that died. No yeah, sure. yeah, hell of that. He hell is. Yeah, so he has a little mark right here. Can't really tell. Let's see. If Almost like he's been damaged. Maybe for this we can. Oh, shit. The quality is so much better. It's not damaged. That looks like the symbol for the, high, for the whatchamacallit. The third, the, I almost said the third reach. Uh, that, <laughs> third Reich. Yeah, the thank you, the third right. Uh, it's uh, I forget the, what's the thing in the in uh, the new Star Wars called that logo. It kind of looks like that in the new Star Wars in the new trilogy. How's this look? Is it laggy? No, it actually looks so goddamn good. I'm pissed we didn't watch it like this at first. God damn, the quality is so good. So right here, I think that she's force holding him. <gasps> I he's think first, she, he's for, she's forced jerking him off. Hey, I'd be about that life. <laughs> Before circumcision. So what do you think he's doing? Like some kind of like basic job I think this is with like everybody a bus. else. I think this is like, he, yeah, he's like trans, getting transported as a basic nobody and nobody knows he's a Jedi there. I think he's a, I think he could be a bus. I like that idea. Um, I think throwing in my idea is a, uh, that this, he's working, doing like a work job yeah, here. Yeah, it could be because he, yeah, it could be before he gets his farm, or not his farm, but like his little ranch or whatever in the first movie. What they are. Oh, that looks so dope. Dude. The table scene, I, I think that she, this this chick right here, Jedi is like force choking him. Not 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 uh, Obi, though. I don't think she's force choking Obi. So this is the dude, look at his lightsabers. This is the double lightsaber guy. Yeah, is that fucking weird, stupid fucking Dildo thing from? Fucking uh, yeah, it's from what's that called? Uh, uh, Malcolm Spaceballs. in the Middle. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> <Malcolm> the... <laughs> when they do the little fucking speed walking. Thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just rewatched that series. Yeah, the when Hal does the speed yeah. walking. Yeah, it's so funny. And he's like, his legs came off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good series. And then he became Heisenberg. Yep. Hey, I I gotta show you that video. Jesse. I got to show you that video where he wakes up where they made it on the bonus features of the Malcolm in the Middle DVD where he wakes up for, where Hal wakes up from a nightmare where he was dreaming of being Heisenberg. That's hilarious. It bro. was so good, dude. Dude, yeah, so actually one thing real quick. Jedi cannot help what they I want to know who 
this person is. Is it just yeah, in general? Because look, I, she got another know. lightsaber too, just like him. Yeah, I don't know, but I like I said, I know for a fact that there are rumored to be two Sith Lords in this at the least. So their compassion. She's badass. You say something, he's like, no, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. I farted. <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> the Jedi. So before we go any further, I have one thing I want to throw out. And I could be completely wrong. And it's just a theory, just a dash in the dark. You played Fall, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, right? Fuck yeah, I did. And I do think that that is the girl from Fa Fallen Order. I was thinking the exact same that, thing. That, You're talking about the black chick that yeah. trades uh, uh, Caleb? A, Caleb yeah. or Celeste? No, Celeste. Or is it Caleb? I think it's Celeste. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played or it, but... That would be a sick Easter egg. If oh, that I would was love the that. I would love fucking... that. Because they... Leaves a oh, God, yeah. Because she was a Sith. Like an itch. I wonder what that's going on here. Some Admiral. Oh, there's a Sith Lord right there. Oh, it's fuck. Him. He's the Jedi over there. Uh... Oh, shit, maybe. Where is oh. he? I mean, they kind of already did that with Grievous, but I like the concept. Yeah, and I, you know what? For the record, General General Grievous um, is uh, was taught by what's his face, Count Dooku. Oh, so and Count, and they so, never really showed who his true form was before he. Like got transferred into the robot, right? Or was he always no, a robot? Th well, no, he was he was a human, and they the only way he could live, if I remember from the like the books properly, he was a human, and they put his heart. It was all that was left was like his heart and brain into the body of a robot. If yeah. I, I could be fucked up about something that. weird like that, yeah, I do something. remember something like that. But he reminds me a lot of General Grievous and Count Dooku, for the record. And it looks like they're trying to. I just love, <laughs> I just think it's funny how every Sith Lord has to be like fucking disgusting and bald. Yeah, there's never a sexy one. Right. He looks like a dumb shit right there. Mm. I love how she slides up. So sick. So this dude seems like he's going to be like a, like a Poe and like a, what's the minute? Yeah, uh, like Han Solo and Poe. Yeah, like a fucking gunsman. Yeah. Be a cocksmith. Which which there's always even when you play the games, read the comics or whatever, like watch like read the books, there's always some type of like skilled marksman. Yeah, there's always a fucking uh yeah, a uh whatchamacallit solo. Yeah, a Han Solo type kind of character yeah, that's just hella is. good and just has like fucking luck build hella good. <laughs> yeah, dude has that ship that's like the Millennium Falcon, like every time. Dude, he looks so dope like that. Right. Obi Wan oh, Kenobi. Darth Vader getting the fart mask. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, I May cannot 25th, wait. Bro. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for that. I loved, and this is coming from somebody who loves the 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 uh, Mandalorian in the Boba the Book of Boba Fett, but goddamn, we're finally getting a Jedi based TV series. And I'm like, why did this take so long? Like, why did you know that originally that one of the first series that Disney was going to do for Disney Plus? Are what? you ready for this? And it got canceled and you're going to be like, what? Oh, no. What is it? They were originally going to start this off with the fucking prequel, the origin story. Are you ready for this? For Darth Maul. Dude. And it got canceled. And I'm like. Are you guys fucking idiots? Like, oh my god, that, that would have been perfect, bro. Dude, if it had started off with Darth Maul, right, and then Mandalorian, and then Obi Wan, and then the Book of Boba Fett, I think that the fan overall consensus would have been different. And Dude. like, instead, they started off with two of the same similar type of characters, and now we're finally getting Obi Wan. And then after this, after the Obi Wan series. Rosario Dawson is going to repri repri reprise her role from um, from the Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian as Ahsoka, Ahsoka, the Jedi. 
like yeah, one yeah, of the last yeah. Jedi. I've seen her, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I'm not super invested in that, but I'll watch it because I think that the best way for this whole thing is for either Jedi or Sith to get their own TV series because in reality... That's what it, people want to see, bro. That's what you want to see. You. The, the last of the last and the rebuilding of... Why whatever, didn't we but... get a Darth Maul? That would have been insane. You know how bad I want to see on film how... Darth Maul was recruited by Lord Sidious. Bro, like, I think he does have an or- origin story. No, too, he like, does in the books. He yeah. does. There, there's books for it, but, but dude, for the record a film version. Come on. Or, and and dude, so what really attracted me about the newer, like the first, uh, the first installment of the newest series, was how there was like a, a origin story with Luke Skywalker. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Having the Jedi talking Academy. about the new one, yeah, the yeah, new one? yeah okay. the newest series, yeah. Having a Jedi like Academy and all that stuff, and just the way they writ, writ the whole story just kind of fell apart. But yep. I'm really glad because they've really been emphasis because obviously the Boba Fett and the Mandalorian about the bounty hunters and all that shit. Yeah, I'm exactly. Really glad Great way to put that. I'm really it's glad all about the bounty hunters. I'm really glad though they're glorifying or at least trying to put more attention on the other Star Wars series. Which, funny enough when we were growing up was always considered the, the shitty, the shitty movies, <laughs> the yeah, shitty Star Wars the, the movies, second but... sequels. I mean, the look second now, trilogy. look at now. I know Not because too bad. Now. Hey, I know because <laughs> it's funny because when I think about rewatching any of those movies, it's not the original. And it's not the newest ones. I always think about watching the Phantom Menace or revenge of the Sith. Now clone wars is okay because of Mace Windu is such like a beast character in that fucking series in clone wars but like come on dude phantom menace with qui-gon jinn give a bunch of fans on reddit we're like so are we finally going to get a qui-gon jinn series and i'm like you know how much i would love but is liam neeson well i don't think like young enough to no 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 I and I don't th- I agree. 100%. You can't you can't replace Qui Gon Jinn with somebody unless Lee, well, unless Qui Gon Jinn himself approves. Well, unless he does it and they do digital re aging and they use stunt doubles, then I would be like, no, dude, no, we're not there yet. I, I just not don't think the yet. technology is. I, no, I don't think it would support yet. it. And uh, but what I'm saying is that's the only way I could see that working in the favor of a young Qui Gon. Because look what happened. Now, I know you haven't seen it, but in The Mandalorian, they hired Mark Hamill to come back as Luke Skywalker, and they were going to digitally alter him. And yeah. instead of using Mark Hamill, they used the stunt double to digitally alter him. That makes sense, though, because <coughs> fucking Mark Hamill is like fucking ancient now. But... He's way too old, but the thing is, the, the CGI was terrible in The, in the Mandalorian for Luke Skywalker. It was terrible. If I, I'll show it to you sometime, and you'll be like, this is... Hor- the scene is epic, but like it, if that's only once pat, only once you look past the CGI. Now, Qui Gon Jinn, I agree one hundred percent. It's like, dude, I don't want to be see- too little, too late, or not. It might agreed. be too late in general. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, dude. Yeah, I don't know if the technology is there for that though, dude. Like, I, no, I, 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 I'm sure it would be dope to see like Qui Gon Jinn and. To be yeah. honest, I would rather it, look. I, or, I agree. Um, Qui Gon Jinn, uh, Liam Neeson. It, it, look, I I agree. If I'm going to put my vote in, though, for, like, another series, it's the Darth Maul series or the fucking General Grievous because those are – one's a robot and one is makeup. So <laughs> it's like throw those in next, but stop doing the bounty hunter shit because out of everything Star Wars, I'm fucking tired of it. Like, I love the <laughs> series. I love the Mandalorian. I love the Book of Boba Fett. But I want Jedi stuff, and let's be real, the biggest problem – with the new trilogy of movies is the Jedi stuff and the system. <laughs> so really it's bad, like, dude. it's horrible. It, it, they made Luke look like a little bitch. And then Sucking fucking on cow titties and shit. Yeah, dude. Fucking. And then Ray was like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking doing that. And then also Kylo Ren was the such a was, baby. The ending was so anti like climactic where they both were like, they looked at each other and they're like, you got this, bro. You got this, sis, or whatever. Yeah. You got this, cuz. Yeah, so stupid, dude. Like, you got this, I, cousin. I, it's just hella dumb. And, like, the, there were cool fight scenes. But I'll say this. Out of all the three movies, there were only two hyped moments for me where, I, where again, I was let down. 
but I was like, holy shit, was when Lord Sidious returned in the third movie. And I was like, holy fuck, like that's pretty crazy. And then I was let down because I was like, this is garbage. And then in the first movie. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't watch that though. Yeah, no, when Lord Sidious returns, it's like you literally have a holy fuck moment. And then it's like the story is just fucking bloated. And you're like, why'd you do this? Like you could have brought him back and then done something epic. But instead, you guys, there was just no inspiration. And then in the first movie where me and Will went to go see, and I'll say it, the one epic scene, and it was short-lived, and it's right in the beginning. When that fucking rebel goes to shoot Kylo Ren, and he turns around and stops the fucking thing midair, I was like, this might be crazy. And then everything after that was garbage. It just sucked. It just sucked. And it was like, the worker, the guy was like, I don't want to be part of the empire. No more. Yeah. And then him throwing the hissy fit on the ship and destroying the thing as funny as it was. And as like interesting as it could. And he didn't even kill fucking. I know he's like one of the main characters, the fucking, the, the clone guy, the what's his name? Finn or whatever. Yeah. He, he he really was able to fucking go at, at the, the lights you know how a swordsman would be like if, it, if somebody was just like you like you do like this yeah, like, dude. cut you up hella quick dude like yeah Samurai and style. like he couldn't even beat finn like it was so stupid like and then the idea and i that, know he's like a fucking main character I, plot armor I, all that bullshit but come on at least let him get like fucking his arm sliced off or like fucking or his hand yeah that's what i mean like something that's gonna be like a just be replaced easily and then, and then the idea that this guy who has been training since he was a kid to be a jedi by the greatest fucking jedi apparently luke skywalker mm-hmm. is defeated by fucking ray is Got like stronger force power and for the him. record then that was the other stupid thing her being his granddaughter was like what the fuck just happened like so ridiculous. So with these new series, Obi Wan getting the shot, I'm like, I hope they learn I'm, from. I'm this. glad there's finally something that's Star Wars that's getting me fucking hyped to watch this, bro. I'm yeah, really it's glad. Disappointing. Yeah. It's disappointing Dude, when which, your like favorite characters get fucking which outshined by, by garbage new characters. Which, by the way, real quick before we end this, um, went to Disneyland recently. Uh, saw uh, when the Star Tours ride and had. Darth Vader in it, and one of the dopest things though is there's a bunch of different videos on that ride, and we got one with uh, Darth Vader, and he was holding the ship. showed him holding the ship with the Force, and then uh, our, our ship that we're supposed to be in pulled out the guns to shoot, and this fool literally right when they shot, he pulled out his lightsaber hella fast, it was like pew, pew, hella reflected it. That's dope. But like, I, everybody was probably just like, oh no, it's Darth Vader, but in my mind, I was like, damn, I want to learn to do that shit because it was just so quick. It's like, yeah, pew, pew, like hella quick. <laughs> But it was just so dope that, like, that was a smart thinking for, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the creators. has to stop using the force. Yeah. But I was like, Whoa. somebody with good writing wrote that. Yeah, like, dude. Sure. This is, Why that, can't we get the Disneyland I admire, like, writers? To this day, like, the whole, the whole fucking ride, everything else, like, the whole Disneyland, I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty cool. But that one thought in my mind, I was like, damn, Darth Vader is badass, bro. <laughs> and that's, I think that that's that nostalgia that we're getting from the Obi-Wan se- series is that we might finally get that justice for Darth Vader and Obi-Wan where it's like, yeah, Revenge of the Sith, great fucking And movie. what was episode four that where they fought, right, at the end? Oh, and then they uh, had that one on the new ride, the uh, Rise of the uh, Rise of the Skywalker, I think it's called or something like that. But, dude, that ride so fucking dope because it's straight up animatronic. It's not like on a fucking... Um, like like a conveyor or something. It's not like on a fucking ride or something. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like on a track. It's literally just. It's each pod is engineered to do its own thing, so That's it's pretty, pretty cool. much like you know what I mean. It's 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 like programming a uh, a drone to go up, right, left to like you know what I mean. Let's say they had like a, a obstacle in front of you and you had to yeah. program it to go up, straight, right. So it's turn, more like- t- spin. Yeah. Turn right. Spin, so it's, it's turn so it's, left. It's literally like, you know how you can c- control like an RC car. It's like you yeah. telling it to go up, down, left. You can have it just spin around or anything. Oh. It's like that, but you program it. So it's like you put the code in to be like, go straight, go right, spin, rotate like three hundred and seventy degrees, and go this way. That's interesting. I like that. 
and that's the only reason why I really like that ride is because there's a lot of like personal engineering that actually goes. Oh yeah, like uh, interaction. A lot of programming that goes. Yeah, it's that's it's cool. pretty dope. Like somebody like the whoever made that ride went through a lot of fucking trouble, bro. Because that yeah. shit must have took fucking months to perfect and make sure that that code doesn't get rewritten. Those if it's a fuck kids. up, bro. If there's a fuck up, you. Somebody can die. Really? Hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fucking IT department over at MIT had a lot of work to do. <laughs> right. But um, be nice to each other, guys. Be safe. Hope you guys are having a good one. Snurdcast. Oh.